trees are some of the largest organisms on the planet. From the smallest sapling to the tallest trees, every plant requires the same key elements in order to grow. Some of these nutrients are absorbed from the roots. Phosphorus, nitrogen and potassium are three key macronutrients needed for plants to grow healthily. But plants have a unique skill. Unlike animals, they can create their own food and they do this through the process known as photosynthesis. Plants transform water and carbon dioxide into solid matter. And this amazing process is powered by sunlight. Light enters chlorophyll, a coloured pigment in the chloroplasts of plant cells. Here it provides the energy that drives a reaction, splitting water molecules and combining them with carbon dioxide to form the sugar molecule glucose. This handy molecule can be used to build complex structures in every single part of the plant. A byproduct of this reaction is oxygen. Now normally you wouldn't be able to see the oxygen being produced, but these aquatic plants reveal tiny bubbles of O2 being produced on the leaf surface. The more light the plants receive, the more bubbles are produced. This extraordinary process is vital. Not only does photosynthesis maintain the balance of oxygen within the Earth's atmosphere, it also supplies all of the organic compounds and energy necessary for life on Earth. During its lifetime, this beech tree has gained an incredible amount of biomass. But remarkably, barely any of this mass has come from the soil. Instead, it's converted gaseous carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into this living tissue. Remarkably, over its lifetime, this tree has sequestered over three and a half tonnes of carbon dioxide from the air. This is the same amount of CO2 produced every single year by the average car. Trees have had nearly 350 million years experience of mopping up CO2 from the atmosphere. So undoubtedly, they play a key role in helping to mitigate climate change. But forests are more than that. They are places of immense beauty. So next time you take a stroll through a woodland near you, just remember that those trees are helping to offset your carbon footprint.